What's up guys, how's it going? I wanna see what this Goofy will look like in Blender. So let's uh, prepare it. I don't think I have any, ooh, I have all of these layers. So I have to, I have to merge all these layers and uh, do, do a few things like that and just make sure that it's uh, good to go for Blender and then I'll bring it over. Okay, so here's how he looks, which is pretty much just the same, except there's no, there's no lights or anything because it doesn't really make a difference. It just kind of makes it a little more confusing if I add a light because then it shows up in Blender. But everything is uh, organized and all the way down to like the bubbles and the drink and the water. So everything is organized together. So that will give me the best chance of not being super confused. We'll see how that goes. So now I'm going to export it. So I just go to File, Export as GLTF. All right, so let's export this. We'll send it over to the computer. And I'll open it in Blender. Let's import Goofy to so GLTF. Downloads, Goofy, Import. Oh, there we have. There we have Goofy, looking good. Let's check out Rendered. So there we go, super shiny as always. So I'm gonna have to adjust all the colors and definitely do some stuff with the glass that's acting really, really strange. So we'll figure that out and I'll check back in with you and see it when it's not so glossy and better lighting. Of issues with the glass, it was a refractive material and I think I had like inverse cooling or something, whatever I had to make it look good on Nomad didn't seem to work in Blender. Like I spent forever trying to figure it out so what I did was I just wound up going back to Nomad, uh, stripping it of those settings, putting everything back, putting it back to opaque, and then just exporting that one piece to Nomad. So here, I'm just gonna X this glass. So I'm gonna delete it, and then I'm gonna import uh, just the single glass. All right, and now it's here, and now I can go to the principal thing and then go to glass, and it already looks a lot better. Looks a lot more like glass, you can see through it. So this will be easy enough to adjust, and I think this will work. So I'm not sure if I'll have to do the same thing with the liquid, hopefully not, but just in case you guys are bringing stuff over and you have like refractive and stuff like that, um, I don't know the official way to figure it out in Blender, but you might just wanna set it all back to normal opaque and undo all those options so it'll work. I spent way too much time on that. All right, I'll be back. Here is the render. Let me just open it up and I will give you a close up view right now. Wow. 